My family history is repeating itself. By now, everyone must see that history is repeating itself. And my family, UK media and the carnival of so-called experts are being even more vocal of exactly just how they intend on ensuring the misery and unhappiness of despair. Like what they did to Margaret, my family, is exactly what they want to do to Harry himself, my family. And my family, make no mistake, yes, as you've all seen, they want Harry back by any means necessary. The UK media want Harry back by any means necessary. And my family, as you all know, yes, they are trying to get him deported from the US and back to the UK. Away from his wife, Megan, and kids, Archie and Lilibet Diana. That's exactly what the media, the tabloids, truly, truly want, my family. And my family, right now, I say history is repeating itself because my family, first of all, we are being told somehow the only way William will ever reunite with Harry is if Harry gets a divorce from Meghan. My family, Harry must be unhappy so that he can be able to mend his relationship with William. And my family, that's what the carnival of so-called experts are saying. Those are the talking points, my family. You know, right before Megan went to New York City, my family, to receive the women of Vision Award, my family, we heard from that carnival of so-called expert. Christopher Anderson, who said that Megan's top priority should be to find a way to mend Harry's relationship with William. My family, you know, every single move that right now the media is making, everything that they are saying right now is about Harry reuniting with William. By any means necessary. And the only way that happens is if Megan and Harry get a divorce. That's what they are saying, my family. And I want you to hear it yourself. Harry's unhappiness is being told to be the key to fixing his relationship with William. My family, please kindly. Hear this, my family. What is being said by carnival of so called experts in the UK media? My family. I need not go into. <laughs> no, I do think you're right about that from everything that I hear. Sorry, Charlotte, but if I was just going to say from everything I hear, William has no intention of patching things up with Harry, certainly not while he remains with Meghan Markle. My family, you've heard that yourself. Harry mending his re relationship with William can never ever work as long as Harry is married to Meghan. Mending that relationship is contingent on Harry's unhappiness, on Harry's misery, like what befell the late Princess Margaret, who was forced to give up the man she loved. And the tablet say, oh look, she's given up love for duty. Clap your hands. She was miserable to the day she passed away. She was unhappy to the day she passed away. My family, her life was full of so much unhappiness after being forced to give up the man she loved. And it appears they want the same thing to happen to Harry. For him to give up the woman he loves so that my family he can have this re relationship with William my family that's what 
the media are saying they want to happen. And my family, when you see so many of them speak about this, that these are the talking points of the media, my family, clearly, that's what they want to achieve. That's what they want to get, my family. And right now, the way they're trying to do that is, first of all, by getting Harry deported. Secondly, also, by spreading this dis and misinformation that Harry and Meghan, their marriage is on the rocks. That's what they've been doing this past couple of days, my family. And my family, there is one thing, my family, that I clearly see that tells me personally they know nothing about Harry Meghan. First of all, they have no access to Harry Meghan. No access to people close to Harry Meghan. Harry and Meghan have maintained a tight circle in Montecito. Their friends don't leak to the UK media. So my family, this logic that they are coming up with my family is that somehow because Meghan did not help Harry promote his memoir spare, somehow since that moment, they are saying that their marriage was under the rocks. Things were not well between Harry and Meghan. That's what they are saying, my family. And yet, that ain't true, my family. That is not true. And they want Meghan to leave Harry. That's what the media wants, my family. My family, please kindly just hear this, please, my family. A lot of reporting on Harry and Meghan's relationship over the past few weeks. You're hearing things are genuinely bad? Yeah, well, I mean, it's been a kind of snowball effect from um, January when Spear came out and uh, they were kind of more separated than we'd, we'd ever seen them before. They were kind of thick as thieves before that. One wouldn't be seen without the other. Um, so January was the, the, the point where everybody started to notice that these people had kind of started separate lives. And yeah, since then, it's, it's been a, a plethora of things. Um, the latest, obviously, the hotel room, um, when it gets to the point where you're, uh, you're known in a, in a kind of hotel uh, mm. and staying on your own, then... Yeah, then and these, these were these reports from Camilla Tomine, of course, the Daily Telegraph columnist, GB New host, that Harry actually has a room set aside at this hotel almost permanently in Montecito. But moving on, uh, the summons... My family, I wanted you to hear that yourself my family the logic that they have is that somehow because megan was not by harry's side while harry was promoting his memoir spare because of that they are saying that that was the sign that their re relationship was not going well that their marriage was under you know there were cracks in harry and megan's marriage that's what they imply my family but you and i we both know exactly why the uk media wanted for megan to make an appearance while harry was promoting his memoir spare because the media wanted to blame it all on megan their scapegoat their target of abuse my family that's what the tabloids wanted to do my family they wanted to claim that it's megan who wrote that memoir not harry whom they are trying to get back to the uk not harry my family they wanted to blame it all on megan not harry that's what they wanted because megan is the target of the royal family and the uk media and my family when megan did not make even a single appearance while Harry was promoting his book, Memoir Spare. My family, that was a smart, smart move by Megan. Because if she did make an appearance, the UK media would have blamed Harry's memoir on Megan. They would have said it's Megan 
who wrote that memoir, not Harry, whom they are trying so hard to use any means necessary to get Harry back to the UK by force, using any means necessary. My family, when I say any means necessary, I mean they're even trying to get Harry deported from the US. That's what they're trying to do, to split Harry from Meghan. That's what they want to do, my family. And my family, all of this is about, you know, trying to rebuild William and Harry's relationship, my family. And my family, somehow, mending Harry and William's relationship is contingent on Harry being miserable, on the spare being unhappy, on the spare giving up the woman he loves. My family, do you see anything familiar? His story is repeating itself. Just like what they did to Margaret. They forced her to give up the man she loved. And they wrote, Margaret chose duty over love. Clap your hands. She was miserable all her life. To the day she passed away. And they want the same thing to be done and to happen to Harry. My family, they're pulling out no stops in trying to ensure the spear is miserable, in trying to ensure the spear is unhappy, in trying to destroy the love between Harry and Meghan. My family, Meghan was not by Harry's side doing interviews with Harry because the media, the tabloids would have blamed the memoir Harry wrote on Meghan. My family, as a matter of fact, I even recall some articles had a picture of Meghan, you know, in their clickbait, my family. Had a photo of Meghan by Harry's side. Try to imply, create that illusion that it's Meghan who wrote the memoir, not Harry. Whom the media, the tablets, are trying so hard to bring back into that royal fold. My family, because they can't accept that Harry escaped. They can't accept that Harry chose his wife and kids. My family, it's embarrassing for the media that Harry would much rather be Meghan's husband, Archie and Lily's father, than the prince. And that angers the UK media. It angers them so badly and just so much. They can't seem to accept that, my family. And every day they try to say, oh, Harry's going to come back. He's going to leave Megan. He's going to come back. My family, every single day, we keep hearing story after story. Every day, Harry's going to come back. He's going to leave Megan. Of course, we know that's exactly what the tablets want to happen. They wanted Harry to abandon his wife for a long time. My family, for a very long time, they've been trying to split Harry and Megan apart. My family, it has not worked. It has not worked, my family. They are hoping this relentless attacks on Harry and Meghan will exert so much pressure on Harry and Meghan's marriage that it collapses, my family. That the marriage collapses, my family. That Harry and Meghan get a divorce. That's what they are trying to achieve. By constantly lying about Harry and Meghan. Also, they are trying to bait Harry. They want Harry and Meghan to make an appearance. My family, Harry and Meghan, as I've said, made a masterclass move. My family, they made a masterclass move in New York City. After Harry and Meghan were pursued by a ring of highly aggressive paparazzi, they informed the entire world exactly what happened. That broke back memories of what happened to Harry's late mother. And my family, the tablets could not use photos acquired from chasing after Harry Meghan. My family, as a matter of fact, it's on record. Daily Mail and Daily Express, who had photos of Harry and Meghan in a taxi, deleted the articles. 
They could not use that anymore. My family, after the backlash, after Harry and Meghan issued that statement, my family. And my family, because of that, my family, right now, no one knows when we are going to see Harry and Meghan next. No one knows. As a matter of fact, after what happened to Harry and Meghan in New York City, Harry and Meghan have not been seen publicly. Anywhere, my family, they have not been seen publicly. After what happened to Harry and Meghan in New York City. And my family, yet despite that, every single day, there's a story about Harry and Meghan. Right now, you are hearing from the media, from liars like Camilla Tomini is a liar, who has no access to Harry and Meghan, claiming Harry is staying at hotels to get away from his wife and kids. My family, come on. It's Harry. It's Prince Harry. He never abandoned his wife and kids. And my family, what should even tell you, you know, that story is a lie, is that Camilla Tomini is a liar, say that Harry stays at hotels to get away from Meghan, Archie, Lilibet, Meghan and the kids. And so my family, because of that, it should tell you clearly, it's nothing but a lie. And also because Camilla Tomini is a liar, is a well-proven compulsive liar who always lies and who has zero access to Harry and Meghan. My family, zero access. And then, what also shows that story is a lie, days after Camilla Tomini is a liar, claimed that Harry was staying at hotels to get away from Meghan and his kids, then came Petronella Wyatt, the ex-mistress of the former Prime Minister of the UK, Boris Johnson. She said, Harry is now home alone. The story moved from Harry staying at hotels to staying home alone. That Harry is home alone while Meghan goes out partying. No picture to prove your story. Just claims being made by people who have zero access to either Harry or Meghan. People who have no access to Harry and Meghan. And speaking of access, my family, there is something I want you to see. Exactly the intentions of what Daily Mail and other tabloids want from Harry. They want him to speak to them. They want Harry to talk to them. Exactly what I've said for quite a long time, my family. I've been saying this. They want access to Harry. They want Harry to whine, sit down, and damn people who have abused him and his wife. That is what they want. And my family, they are saying that, Harry, you know what? Your mother, your mother, Harry, the let Diana work with the press. We wish you knew how she worked with the press, my family. And they want Harry to work with them, to speak to them, to engage with them, my family. And that's coming from an editor at large working for Daily Fail which I want you to hear yourself exactly what they want from Harry. And my family, first of all, you know what? Let me show you first, my family, what has been said about this, my family. It's important that you hear this, my family, what has been said. It was that, that Paul Burrell could do was it would be to show Harry how much his mother worked with the press. Because Indeed. Think, even now, Harry has Indeed. no idea. No, he has a fantasy. He has a delusion was. about the fact that Diana somehow didn't like the press. That was completely untrue. She called up journalists on a regular basis. Uh, oh, Mail right. on Sunday's editor at large, Charlotte Griffiths and the spectators, Cara Kennedy. Thank you both so much. My long. family, you've heard that. Exactly what they want from Prince Harry, my family. My family, hear this kindly once again. It was it would be to show Harry how much his mother worked with the press. Because Indeed. Think, even now, Harry has Indeed. no idea. No, he has a fantasy. My family, they're telling you what they want. My family. And my family, first of all, if you use the example of Diana, if you claim 
Diana work with the press? My family, if that's what you're saying, then my family, you've already failed. You are trying to convince her to work with you by saying that your mother worked with the press. Guess what? The world saw what happened to Diana. She was chased to her death. So my family, when you use Diana as an example to claim that, hey, look, Harry, Diana worked with the press. You should too work with us coming from an editor of the Daily Mail. My family, it's telling you exactly what they want. They want Harry to sit down with them, to whine and dine with them, to speak to them. That is what they want. That is the angle. That's what they're trying to, to achieve. That's their angle. That's what they're trying to achieve, to get Harry to work with them. You know, my family, there must be something, you know, there is something that people must understand. Hypothetically, if Harry goes back into the role fold, do you know what that means, my family? It means Harry will have to sit down Wine and diamond people who have abused him and his wife. That's what Harry will need to do. By force. My family. No negotiations by force. He'll have to do that, my family. It's a requirement in the firm. For you to, to wine and dine with people who have abused you. Attack your wife. That is the requirement. Do interviews with them. My family. Give the people who have attacked you, your wife, your kids, an interview. My family, sit down next to Camilla Tomenizalaya as she interviews you. That's what it means going back into the royal fold, my family. And my family, from what we have heard from Harry himself in his memoir spare, there ain't no way he's whining and dining with people who have abused him and his wife Megan. There ain't no way. There is no way Harry is whining and dining with people who have gone after the love of his life. My family, who have hacked his phone. There ain't no way Harry is ever going to do that. My family, Diana lost her life. She lost her life, my family. And these same people working for Daily Mail are trying to say that, you know, I wish Harry would be told how Diana worked with the press because they want Harry to work with them. Their dreams, their illusions, all delusions as I would call it, my family, is that they want Harry to work with them. To work with people who have bullied his pregnant wife to the point she wanted to take her own life. Truly, now that is delusional, my family. Utterly delusional, my family. There ain't no way Harry is ever going to whine and dine with people who have gone after you know, his wife Megan and himself, people who have hacked Harry's phone, there ain't no way that's ever going to happen. And my family, also, we are seeing the press, this tabloid media, having accepted there ain't no way Megan is ever coming back. My family. There ain't no way Megan is ever coming back. And I've said that myself. There ain't no way Megan ain't ever coming back. After what they've done to her, you only need to read Harry's memoir to understand why Megan did not even attend King Charles' coronation. You only need to read Harry's memoir to understand why Megan did not attend. 
my family, aside from the fact that it was a son's birthday. If you just read Harry's memoir, you'll get to understand my family. You'll get to understand and learn why. Why would Megan show up, be abused, insulted, and bow down to people who loathe her? It's never ever going to happen in my family. Not going to happen. Megan is never ever going to do such a thing my family. And I feel like, yes, even the media itself has, has accepted that in no way Megan is coming back. So they're trying to get Harry, whom they've always wanted back, my family. Because with Megan, my family, even as Harry said, they always thought Megan would leave because of how they were abusing Megan. And it's true, my family. It's true. They never thought Harry would leave. But they thought Megan would leave my family. And now that Megan has left, they, the tabloid, the carnival of so-called experts, don't expect Megan to return. And my family, that's something clearly they've seen. They in no way Megan is coming back, my family. What they are trying to do is get Harry back. My family, that's what they are trying to do, my family. You know? And then they're speaking about Harry and Meghan's children, my family. My family, let me just say this, my family. The media, the tabloids, don't care about Harry and Meghan's kids. They don't care about them. They don't care about Harry and Meghan's bi-racial kids. They don't care. They only want Harry back. My family. And my family... These people should learn to keep Harry and Meghan's kids out of their mouth, my family. Harry going back means that, you know, my family, a life of misery and unhappiness, my family. A life of misery and unhappiness. Because there, we're never going to be happy in the UK. Never. Not going to happen, my family. Now, my family, just kindly hear what they were saying about Harry and Meghan's kids, my family. You know, which I find quite, quite disturbing, my family. For him. So, aren't they? Because both Harry and Meghan have so much riding on it. Yeah, I mean, they've got kids. You know, if Harry ends up dumped and deported and back in the UK, I don't think he'd be very happy at all. I mean, he doesn't seem to be particularly happy over in LA, but he loves his kids. He's, he's well known to always wanted a family of his own, having had such a tragic upbringing. And to think that if he came over here, I mean, what are the chances of Megan coming over? Slim to none, I would have thought. He needs to be with his kids, even if he's, you know, trapped in a, an awkward situation with his relationship. My family... You've had that yourself, my family. And also, Prince Harry is happy in the US, my family. And Harry has said that himself, my family. America is a great place to live. I'm quoting Harry's very own words. Not my words. Harry said America is a great place to live. Not my words, Harry's words. But the media refuses to accept Harry can be happy elsewhere. My family, when all they wanted... Is for Harry to be miserable. For Harry to be unhappy. My family. For Harry to be begging William and Charles for money. My family. That is not living. And Harry ain't never coming back to that. It's high time. The press accept that Harry has moved on with his life. And they also move on from Harry and Meghan. And focus on the taxpayer-funded royals they have in the UK, my family. My family, please kindly hear Harry's words himself. I want people to hear Harry's words. You know? Now, my family, please kindly just hear what Harry said himself about life in America. When asked if he's happy. Megan would leave. Are you happy? Are yes. you? I'm very, very happy. I'm very at peace. I am in a better place than I've ever been. And I think that probably angers some people, infuriates 
others because just by the nature of me leaving, I'm sure they, they, some people always thought that Megan would leave, right? But I don't think they ever thought that I would leave as well. But just by leaving, that has, it's embarrassing for some people. Um, as I said, it wasn't something that I would have necessarily chosen at the time, but, you know, I own my story um, and I own the, the, you know, the results. But I've got two beautiful kids and an amazing wife. Like, the happiness in my family now, I have never felt anywhere else before. But the tabloids will tell you Harry is deeply, deeply unhappy. He wants to come back to the UK so badly. He wants to come back to abuse so badly, you know? And they're saying that, you know what? You, Harry, can reunite with William only if you divorce Meghan. Only if you ensure that your life is one of unhappy and unhappiness, lack of love, true love. That's what they're saying, my family. My family, his story is repeating itself, my family. His story is repeating itself, my family. I don't even need to go to what happened to Harry and Meghan in New York City. Being chased by a ring of highly aggressive paparazzi in New York City. For anyone to understand that history is repeating itself, my family. They want Harry's life of despair to be one of misery. And they want to make sure that that is what happens to despair. My family, this time... This time, I'm telling them, this time, you may have succeeded in history, from Margaret to Andrew. But this time with Harry, you won't destroy or break despair. You won't ruin or destroy Harry and Meghan's marriage. Hate won't win. This time, this hate campaign, my family, it won't work to destroy Harry and Meghan's marriage, my family. It won't work. My family, it won't work. Harry and Meghan choose love. Love always wins and love triumphs over hate, my family. And they can say all oh, they keep on saying, my family. The lies to keep on, you know, to make themselves sleep at night by lying about, you know, Harry and Meghan. Because clearly, the only way they can sleep at night in the UK is by lying about Harry and Meghan's, Meghan's marriage, my family. That's the only way that they can clearly sleep at night, my family, by being liars and making money off of their lives, my family. But I always believe one thing, my family. Yes, the battle between good and evil will continue till the end of time, but good will always prevail over evil. The truth will always prevail over lies, my family. And in this story, Harry and Meghan are on the side of God, on the side of truth, my family, on the side of love. My family, I support Harry Meghan 100%, my family. And my family, you've heard from Harry yourself. You know, imagine telling someone, for you to reunite with William, your marriage needs to end. William, who has had so much, who has held so much contempt and hatred for Harry. All of Harry's life, my family. From what we have learned from Harry's memoir spare, my family. William and Harry have never been close. William has mocked Harry, having panic attacks. William has been a very, very bad brother, my family. Who's only ever put first his competition with Harry which he wants to win by destroying despair. Harry. William was hateful towards Harry's wife, Megan. Treated Megan appallingly. Before Megan and Harry's wedding, it was William and King Milton who were being so difficult before Harry got married. But somehow, you hear, Megan should make it a top priority to mend Harry's re- Relationship with William. My family, no. It is not Megan's job. My family. It is not Megan's job, my family. Then you hear, somehow, you know what? 
William and Harry can only get back together if Meghan is out of the picture. If Meghan and Harry divorce. My family, Harry is not going to sacrifice his happiness, his love for William who never do anything for him. The fact is William will never do anything for Harry and that's a fact. You know, the only thing he wants to do to Harry is to destroy him, destroy Harry's happiness and thereby winning that lifelong competition against Harry. That's what William wants, my family. But my family, he won't succeed. My family, with that and so much more, tell me your thoughts and opinions of what we've just discussed. I'd like to kindly please hear your opinion, my family. Stay tuned on this video. Love you always and forever. No weapon formed against Harry, Meghan, Archie, Lebedana, and Doria Raglan shall ever prosper my family. My family, they know nothing. Every single passing day, I'm convinced that these people who claim that there's, you know, Harry and Meghan, their marriage is under the rocks. My family, every day, I keep on being convinced that my family, they are lying. They are lying. My family, you know, when you start going to see that, you know, because Meghan was not by Harry's side when Harry promoted his memoir spare. Somehow, because of that, we have seen that, you know, their relationship has been under the rocks. My family, right then and there, you know they are lying about Harry and Meghan's marriage, about Harry and Meghan's relationship, my family. Because the fact is, if Meghan had appeared next to Harry, you know what would have happened. I know what would have happened, my family. I know what would have happened. The media would have said, it's Megan who's writing the memoir. As a matter of fact, some of them did. So my family, they're angry that, you know, Megan did not give them what they want to scapegoat her and blame her for Harry's memoir. That's what they're angry about. And in how Harry looks at Megan, Megan looks at Harry, my family, as Tyler Perry said, those two are in love. My family, if I don't have what Harry and Meghan have, I don't want it. Stay tuned to our next video. Love you, always and forever. Hello, members of Zisco Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices. Supporting Prince Harry and Meghan. Showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil. And for that, I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community. This amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart. And I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day. And I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more. Stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Love you, family, always and forever. Sayonara.